Hello friends, this is past midnight. I have sat back and watched the opportunities offered by the YouTube channel, a very good platform. But unfortunately, like anything that comes to Nigeria, our dear country, people jump in and try to mess it up. I watched with dismay and I make this video out of no malice for to anybody. Uh, it's been messed up by different things, especially the actors are doing. And mark my words this day, if I be the professional that I have um, been all these years, then what I'm going to say to you right now is going to come to pass. We built Nollywood brick by brick, block by block. But the guys who have besieged YouTube actors, not the producers, don't have an essence, any sense of purpose or process to create a procedure for a lasting videography of creating content. Take for instance, the whole irony of one day shoot is not sustainable. Some of them now make it so difficult for producers and tell you one day shoot is one million, so 1.5 million, one day shoot. It is not sustainable. And unfortunately, unfortunately, my very high standing colleague who started this one day shoot, go and ask him. Unfortunately, he's not in good health. Why? I know. For every person who gives you a job, he wants it done. So, they pack you with enough to finish in one day. 30 cents, 35 cents. Betano, betano, bonaro, nama. Cut meat, cut meat, that for nama, bodio. Most of you think you're enjoying uh, giving conditions. I'm fully booked for the next six months. I'm doing this on your health. I hope you enjoy good health like those of us who started 35, 38 years ago because what you're doing is not sustainable. I bear you no malice. Earn all your money. But then the disservice you're doing to professionalism is not going to last long. And by this not saying, the way I say it, YouTube is not going to last long in Nigeria or as, a, as a platform. So that's why people like me Njasaba, Mechalo. I go to Enugu, Mechalo. Lagos, Mechalo. And then, most actors, like everything in Nigeria, have created their own channels. They've, started, they've stopped acting for other producers. That's not a way to build the industry. You need to lend your service to other people. Yes, we're creating content, but then we all need each other. That is the spirit by which Nollywood came about. So all this thing, I don't see the sustainability of it, that um, people are not given different conditions, no actor is free, and so on. I'm advising you, Imechala Asaba, Imechala Enugu, Imechala Ebado, Abuja, and so on, and we will be going. But what I see presently, uh, you don't know what you're doing to your health. You shoot 25 30, 35 cents a day. And you think, uh, you know, go and ask your brother what it means. Yeah? It's unfortunate. I hope you, it doesn't tell on your health sooner than you expect. Don't forget, many actors in Nigeria don't have insurance. And the much I know that the Mekaru Lassa's president has fought to get an insurance keeps on being fought by the so-called uh, top actors who wouldn't want to pay just a minute into an insurance fund. Most unfortunately, this is what is happening. I need to bring this to the notice of the public because what am I, an old man sees standing, sitting, you cannot see it standing on the toilet. I bring you good words. Have a think. Those of you who think you are earning 1 million a day, 1.5. It's not sustainable.
but I have everything. I hear you normalis, I know your money. But then I also want to call on those. Let's have I know there are people in class who are in secondary school or primary school who write the names of those uh, noisemakers and so on. <laughs> Let's have a prefect who's going to note the names of the people who are making it difficult for producers now to produce good content for our viewership. Let's write their names. We will never forget. Thank you, everyone. Take a stand. Say no, sir. If you're a member of the guild, make a call immediately. Except your, 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 your guild is comatose, or your president or, or chairman is non-functional. Take it and say, sir, they want me to enter a forest and there are snakes here and I cannot. And the guild should swing into action immediately, not after. I just showed some people the video of uh, Mr. Emmanuel Logo that was almost killed on the set because the producer brought an actor who did not have a driver's license. <coughs> and he was almost crushed. Went to the hospital, and what did the producer marketer do? Nothing. He said they can't do anything to him before this. How much are PAs paid? How can you employ somebody to work for you for 10 days, 15 days, even if it's seven days? He's lifting generators, tying cables, it's raining, he's out there, we're in the living room, and you give him 10,000 after the end of the day. That's not just a sin, it's a sin against God. Your mountain heaps up. On payable debts on yourself. You pay a PA 10,000. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Don't echo, please. Please. We all know this, but we keep pretending that it will get better. We are not doing anything about it. How many times have the crew members gone on strike? Take a stand. How many crew members do we have in Lagos? They're filming in Lekki right now. Yes. It's not their business. This is our Nollywood. That's their Nollywood. Death does not hang its clothes on just one man's door. It will get to everybody's turn. There's nothing you can do. When it's time, my time, I go. So no. What do you think? Would there be any reason for anybody to celebrate you like this? Would there be any reason for anybody to stand up and walk the, take the walk we just took now on your behalf? When you do not stand for others, when you are gone, you become nothing. You become inconsequential like the dot on the letter I. Nobody will stand for you. So it will get to everybody's turn. So let's wait. But this industry has gotten to the point where it needs to change. Under a week or so, we have become a mockery. People, even people do, who do not know anything about the film industry, I've, I'm, I'm making postulations about how we should run the industry. So some people say, no, the guy, the guy was in the water, he was breathing. Is it that none of us could uh, give him mouth to mouth resuscitation? The guy was in water for three hours. Come on. Even me, a traditionalist, I know that it's not possible for you to live in the water. There's something called spasm. Even when you are dead, even if you put a dead body in, in, in the mortuary, there's a possibility for him to still have after spasms. And everybody has been talking to the industry, bad mouthing the industry. Somebody, everybody has suddenly gone spiritual, telling us the reason why they were killed, why they died. We give them room to do that. Madam President. I want to use this opportunity to say I'm sorry to those I have offended, those that have offended me, everybody I have had fights with, quarrels with. I'm sorry. <laughs> this life, this life is nothing. <laughs> For the past few days, in as much as I have been posting content, that has been in my archive, that has been in my draft. It's been hard. The media that has given us companion and entertainment everywhere you go to is grieving. I don't want to share my own personal pain, but the pain I see a lot of people go through. 
breaks me down. Some people say, I wonder how people cry and make videos of themselves. <laughs> you will never understand until you feel it. I'm sorry to those I've offended, to those I have had fights with, confrontations with. I'm sorry. This world and the little tragedy we've had early this year has taught me a lot. The one that broke my soul the most is when I saw the video of the young makeup artist when the family was crying. She was the breadwinner of our house. Did you see that young makeup artist that drowned? That just finished her NYSC. She was the breadwinner. Where young children leave home to feed home. Did you see DOP guy? Did you see his mother? He was the breadwinner. Children leave home to feed home. Children are now the ones taking up the responsibility of their parents. <laughs> I don't blame a lot of young people that come and put the frustration on us. I don't blame you when we, you think that we are bragging when we show off one or two worlds. I don't blame you. The sudden death of Junior Pope opened our eyes to a lot of stuff. It can be you anytime. Nobody planned this death to. It can be you. It can be you sleeping from your bathtub. It can be you. For it can. It could be anybody. I'm a relationship therapist that help people define their problem. At this point, I cannot feel my body. I cannot feel myself. I woke up, I came to the office, my brain is numb. I open the internet, it's green. I don't know why I'm offended, I am sorry. I'm sorry, this life. All of us are passing through a lot. The difference is that some of us and not come out to say it. <laughs> Everywhere. It's just pain. I'm speechless. I'm moody. I don't know whether to say I'm depressed. I don't know what to call out I feel, but I know. I can't even feel, I can't even eat. If we could be in this level and we're completely, imagine those like the lower level. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just wanted you people to know that I'm a human. Those that feel like lesson is a jagaba, not have to choose. I cry. I wake up some nights and I cry. I talk to my mom, I talk to my dad. I have issues too. Forget the fact we come on the media and give you the entertainment and the cliché. I have issues. I have things that are weighing me down. At this point, 
I don't want to fight anybody again. Because I never know. I don't know when it will be goodbye. I don't want to carry anybody in my mind again. I just want to be on my lane. Walk with everybody peacefully. I'm going to try. It's going to be hard. But I'm going to try. I don't want to be part of people's pain or misery. And if I'm offended, you, I'm sorry. Nobody knows when God can call us. Please <laughs> take care of yourself. <laughs> Especially to the young ones who leave home to feed home. Especially to the young ones who are forced to grow up to take care of their younger ones. Some, of, some people started from the age of 16, 17 to start to feed home. <laughs> Please take care of yourself. Even we as adults, it's hard. <laughs> Imagine you as a child. Parents, please. <laughs> you don't know what these young people go through. <laughs> the risk they take. <laughs> Just to send 5,000, 10,000 to you every month. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know how much these people earn. <laughs> like the makeup artists and the DOP. That round you'll be so shocked that what they pay them is like one up to hundred thousand. <laughs> Kudos to the young champion that are strong and hosting out there to put food on their parents' table and their siblings' table. Kudos to those of you who are young girls that have been forced to grow into women. Kudos to you young men that have been forced to grow into men. May God bless the work of your hands. And to those of you who have lost loved ones, may God give you the gratitude to bear the loss. Nobody in my family has died. But I have a few pain. I don't know how. I don't know how you are going to feel. I just wanted to make this video to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I've caused you pain. If I've made you cry. Knowing you're knowing me. That's not who I want to be. This life is nothing. It could be us anytime. <laughs> I love you guys. This media space is the only place we run to. I laugh. <laughs> May God still give us the strength to be able to create those contents that could keep us going. Because at this moment, I have broken. I love you guys. Comment down below what you think about this.